Hey Fresh Foodies! Today is day one of the Food Bank NYC Challenge. That means for one week I am thriving on the $29 worth of groceries that I picked up yesterday. You would think that day one you'd be a little excited to get through the challenge. If I had to describe day one in one word it would be rough. My days start out really early. I can be up as early as 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm not one to make like a big breakfast that early in the morning. I do tend to, you know, have grab and go foods that early in the morning. So yesterday I made a point to uh, make oatmeal uh, in advance. I made an apple cinnamon oatmeal with the apples and the oats that I got. And I actually baked it in the oven to make it like a bar and I saved it in the fridge. So in the morning I just cut a piece of that bar and I brought it with me to work. So when I get to work, I usually have a little bit of a, a more substantial breakfast. Seeing as how I was on the challenge, I realized that I had to really think about what type of meals I was going to have throughout the day to get the most out of the groceries that I got. So instead of having my substantial breakfast when I got to work, I pretty much just had a snack, which was an apple and a banana. The only way you're gonna survive this if you have to work throughout the week is to bring your lunch and bring a snack. The day before I actually made my lunch ahead of time. So the day before I actually made a, I cooked a sweet potato, put it in a container with corn, tomatoes, avocado, a little onion, and I pre-cooked an egg and I sat it in there and that would be my lunch. Instead of having, you know, second breakfast right when I got to work, I actually had that as my lunch. It actually came out pretty good. I was really happy with it or I was just really, really hungry by the time it rolled around. And then when I got home, I actually got stuck in really bad traffic. So I got home much later than I normally would. So I was actually like, I was oh, so ready to eat. Oh my goodness, I was so ready to eat something. So what I did was I took um, one of my chicken thighs that I bought and I boiled it and added some of the carrot, a little onion, and I used my flour and I made dumplings. So, I definitely used a lot of the resources that I had and if you're looking for more in-depth ingredients on those uh, cooked items like what I had for lunch and what I had for dinner just be sure to click the link below and you'll see uh, how I actually prepared those meals to get by throughout the day. I used my fitness pal in application for iPhone, not sure if it's for Android but I do know it's for iPhone, to track my calories. Part of this challenge is seeing is if you can get adequate nutrition. Uh, on $29 a day and I believe that earlier on I did say that I don't think it's possible someone like me in my body type I and my physical activity I usually need about 1400 calories a day I roughly got in 1278 calories today of those calories 61% of them came from carbohydrates 24% of it came from fat 15% of it came from protein for me 1278 calories is not enough calories especially if you're active if you work out I think 1200 is the bare minimum that anyone should be taking in without any type of physical activity uh, but I can already anticipate there's probably going to be a little bit of weight loss come the end of the week if I keep up with that amount of calories and continue to work out as much as I do. I might probably like cut out a couple of days, um, maybe today too because it was so, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Thank God for the soup. Let me tell you, that chicken and dumplings saved my life. So thanks for following up with me on day one. Don't forget to check out the blog to see exactly the type of foods that I had. You guys can see the pictures of some of those foods. And be sure to share this video, like, and subscribe to my channel.